Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to Football Therapy with me, your host, Jan. I hope you lot are all doing well. Welcome back to the channel and today's video, which is a Chelsea transfer news video, where I will be talking about three players in this video. The first being a young English Bournemouth goalkeeper Aaron Ramsdale. Chelsea have been linked with him over the last couple of days. And I'm going to tell you why. Not only do I think this would be the perfect goalkeeping transfer for Chelsea Football Club, but also why I think this could probably be a realistic acquisition. I'm also going to give you updates on the Willian situation, how apparently he's weighing up his London options of both Arsenal and Tottenham for potential transfer destinations. <laughs> and give you my thoughts on that. And it's been a while, but I wanted to comment on the Jadon Sancho situation. Obviously of late he's been heavily, 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 heavily linked with Manchester United because of a few journalist comments like a while ago. But I want to talk about, is there a chance Chelsea can sign him and why perhaps Chelsea would be a better deal for Sancho than Manchester United as well. So I'm going to get into that. A quick reminder to you guys though to subscribe to Football Therapy if you've not already done so. Please do, if you do, please do hit the bell notifications icon because that is really important and if you want to help a brother out, why not like the video, follow me on the socials and all that lark. Let's get on with it. Right, let's start with Aaron Ramsdale then, shall we? Like I said in the beginning of the video, the last couple of days, Chelsea have been linked very, very heavily with this player, as well as Tottenham Hotspur, but Chelsea, now, listen, okay? First, I'm gonna tell you why I think this transfer could happen, and then I'm gonna tell you why I think this transfer would be an excellent transfer for Chelsea Football Club. First off, how or why? Basically, Bournemouth are in trouble, right? They're in the relegation zone currently, and they could get relegated. Sure, they are in with a shout of maintaining Premier League status this season, but they do look like they're in trouble and they could very well go down. So for theoretical sake of what I'm gonna tell you, let's just say they get relegated. Bournemouth have almost been an ever present in the Premier League for the last few years, and they've been known for playing quite good football and being just generally quite a likable club. No one really wanted them to go down, right? So if they get relegated, they will do whatever they can and back themselves to get straight back up into the Premier League because they didn't just dip in, they've been hanging around for a while. Now, although Ramsdale might be seen as one of those players that could happily get relegated with a club and try and work his way back up because he's a young goalkeeper, you probably think it's more the likes of Nathan Ake who would perhaps want to get sold to a better club because he's a really good player. But like I said, let's imagine Bournemouth are really backing themselves to get back up into the Premier League they will want to reinforce parts of their squad where they can score goals because they could survive in the championship with a worse goalkeeper but you need to score goals to get promoted and they struggled of late scoring goals so they'll see an opportunity like selling Ramsdale to Chelsea and they'll see okay we can make a lot of money here and we can buy players that can go throughout the squad and score goals to get us back up. You see what I'm saying now? So in that sense, I feel like it's a realistic acquisition potential transfer, but why would it be good for Chelsea? Well, on the screen next to me, I'm gonna show you his comparison stats with Kepa Ruta Balaga in the Premier League. As yes, you can already guess, they're a lot better because Kepa's have been really bad, but it still gives you a reference point of what Ramsdale has been doing. He's been in excellent form for Bournemouth of late and he does, well he has demonstrated great ability, the fact how he's a really good goalkeeper. Now listen to this, right? This would be a not expensive acquisition. Even if Bournemouth wanted like 20 million, it's not going to be like a 50 million whatever Donna Rimmer or something. And of course, Ramsdale's proven he can do it at the highest level in the Premier League. Willy Caballero, bless him, has done okay when he's coming for Kepa this season, but he's 38 or 39, going on 39. He was the oldest player playing in the Premier League this season, or certainly has been the oldest player. Chelsea will need to replace him as the number two, but they will look to bring in someone who can, again, challenge Kepa in case his form drops off dramatically again. Enter Aaron Ramsdale. Ramsdale will get paid a lot of money, will get to live in southwest London or there around. It's a prestigious club to play at and also he won't just think oh I'm the number two, he will be thinking I'm the number two who can challenge the number one here. Oh yes please, I want the Chelsea transfer. So there you have it. In my opinion that's the reason why 
it could happen and why it should happen <laughs> or I think it's a good transfer for Chelsea. A comfortable number two that could absolutely come in and play the number one and put the pressure on the Kepa without undermining him completely as a new sort of Galactico level signing. Right, that's Ramsdale out of the way. Let's talk about Willian, the Brazilian who wants to go to Tottenham. That didn't rhyme. Arsenal aren't going to get Champions League football next season. They're out of the Europa League and they're not going to get top four or five in my opinion apparently Willian's waiting to see who does get top four who gets Champions League football to make his decision or so say if the reports say that although in many ways I think even though Mikel Arteta likes playing young dynamic players Willian's pretty dynamic inherently actually so maybe that's a bit unfair I actually think Willian would do really well at Arsenal for you know however long he's got left in his legs Arsenal can score goals quite comfortably the I think Aubameyang's best performances on the left flank is when he's put in these really dogged, defensive, awesome, all-round performances. Willian could do that on the right flank and offer defensive solidity and work rate throughout that Arsenal squad. And then they can have whatever Lacazette and Ketty up front scoring goals. I think just to stabilise them and get them towards the top of the table, Willian would be a good signing for them. Plus, you know, he'd be on a free. But the truth is, in terms of likelihood, I see his love affair with Jose Mourinho continuing. Jose absolutely loves Willian's work rate and he's the exact player he'd probably want in that Tottenham side. They'd give him a three year deal, they'd probably give him a really good signing on bonus and personally I can probably see Willian going to Tottenham Hotspur but the reports are suggesting he's waiting to see who's got Champions League football. Now I understand that Willian's in the twilight of his career now, he'll be wanting to play Champions League football at every chance he gets. And although arguably Tottenham are still in a chance for getting Champions League football, especially if fifth place offers it for, for next season, Tottenham will be hoping that, but with Jose Mourinho's current strops he's throwing, he's like, oh, I just want the season to be over. I'm not so sure they can do it. Personally, Willian's best bet will probably be going abroad to Barcelona or somewhere, something like that where he'll get a big sign on fee, uh, you know, Chelsea won't mind him going, there'll be no love lost there, because let's face it, he's meant to hate Tottenham, he hates Tottenham, he hates Tottenham, and he, oh no, he's literally just gone and signed for Tottenham. So we'll see what happens there, but weird one, I'll, I'll keep you guys updated. Right, let's talk about the Jaden Sancho story. It's been a while since we've spoken about him. Obviously, there were links, loads of links with Chelsea over the last kind of like, almost like year or so, I guess. And this was because, you know, he's a self-proclaimed Chelsea fan. He's got loads of allegiances in terms of uh, friends within the Chelsea squad and the idolised Frank Lampard. You know, and he's from London as well. So from a romantic p point of view, it was Chelsea that seemed like the better suitor, but of late, or certainly the last couple of months, Manchester United are the bookies' favourites to sign the young English winger and yeah all the news basically they're talking about Manchester United now I'm not sure if it will play a massive part but Champions League qualification should play a big part in this transfer in terms of the player choosing his destination because I maintain right if you said to Jadon Sancho you got Chelsea and Man United and put them in the exact same uh, air status or progression you say right both of them are in Champions League you're obviously both for rebuilding both offer you the same contract length and terms and wage who do you choose I maintain he chooses Chelsea for the aforementioned reasons but there are some rumors going around or certainly had been going around that he wouldn't want to go to Chelsea purely because he's such close friends of Callum hudson Doy, and he sees him struggling to get into the team as it is he wouldn't want to displace him completely and maybe he looks at Manchester United to be honest Manchester United are building something, they're in a good vein of form, they're a pacey, young, dynamic team. To be honest, in many ways, they're not that exciting in terms of philosophy, they're, they play counter-attacking football. Um, but then again, he's played counter-attacking football at Dortmund, so maybe he might fancy it and he could see himself playing on the right wing, which is a massive problem position for Manchester United. He will slot straight in, he'll be playing with the likes of Bruno Fernandes, um, who knows, Pogba might stay, and it could be very appealing for him, but in terms of pick your club, or who do you want to play for, I think he chooses his, bo his boyhood club, Chelsea, especially if they get Champions League, United don't. We'll have to see what happens though, because really, really what this depends on is if Chelsea go in hard for him. We already know Manchester United are going in very, very hard for the player, uh, and that's maintained or fomented this relationship with Dortmund and they're grooming the club and the player for a transfer where Chelsea are sort of having their foot off the gas a little bit. Obviously they've signed Ziyech and they've got Pulisic and Hudson-Odoi. These are all young players. Well, 
you know, Zia, she's relatively young. So we'll have to see what happens there. Anyway, what do you guys think of this? I want to get your thoughts and opinions on all the topics I've spoken about in today's video. What do you think about Ramsdale? Do you think that would be a really good acquisition for Chelsea in terms of a goalkeeping transfer? Let me know your thoughts on that. Also, express yourself down in the comment section about Willian. How would you feel if he transferred to Tottenham? Would all love be completely lost? It would be a very difficult one to swallow, even if he's at this point in his career. What do you think? And finally, give me your thoughts and opinions on the Jaden Sancho situation. Express your thoughts down there in the comment section below. And I want to plug my previous video that I've done on Frank Lampard's Chelsea tactics. If you haven't gone and seen that, go check it out. I've spent quite a lot of time on it, and you might find it interesting. And if you've enjoyed this content, please do like the video as well. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Follow me on social media at Football Yannick. That's it from me, you lot. Enjoy the football, and I will see you later. You ain't so tough with that bad boy tuck. I'ma get it how I'm living. I'ma walk the walk. Outline my lines. I rap through thought. Body bag the verse. Outline the chalk. In my life, seen trouble. Hustle on the double. Silence on the trigger like my pick got a muzzle. Yo, chick like to guzzle. Bad boy stay in trouble. I only love this paper. Sorry, I don't. I love me, baby.